Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to create a CSV file in your Zapier Zap. So let's say that you have some data coming into Zapier triggering your Zap and you need it to output a CSV file. Either you need to um, SFTP that file up to some server or you want to email it to yourself or someone else as an attachment. Um, you just have a need to get you know data from one app into a CSV. Usually this is because um, maybe you just want to be alerted about it via CSV or um, you have a legacy system that you're sending this data to that only ingests data into its system by, you know, a CSV file that is on a SFTP server. A lot of like old um, systems only get data into them by, you know, going to an SFTP server looking for new CSVs and importing them. So let's let's see how to do that. So in Zapier, right, any um, step you want as the trigger. So like some, maybe HubSpot has a form submission or anything. I'm just going to use this uh, Google Sheet that I have an example row in so we can see the data. For the do this step or the trigger step, we're going to look for easy CSV and we're going to do create CSV file. It's the only action. Keep going, select your easy CSV account. You need an easy CSV account because we're going to have these objects called CSV generators. And these objects are great because you set these up in easy CSV. If you haven't set one up, It'll just make one for you. So this one was generated for me. I didn't have to go to Easy CSV after I signed up, and it's going to make a CSV file that has this default file name. And so, like you know, it'll have a unique ID. So every file will be unique in case you're uploading it somewhere. You can change this, which I'll show you in a second. Um, you can either change it in Easy CSV or you can just override it in your Zap for the file name. Um, the next piece is you're going to have these header value pairs, key value pairs, and you're going to it's going to make a single row CSV. So let's say that we have email address and we have phone number of some new lead. Cool. And uh, this is data coming from that trigger step. These will be the headers of the CSV file. So this will be a two row CSV file. The first row being headers, email and phone number. And the first and the second row is just the first is the only data. So it's just one row of email and uh, number. Now, if we execute this, when this action executes, it's going to return a file URL that's temporary for one day. So send it somewhere, upload it somewhere. Um, and it'll also do things that you specify in your generator. So when you go to Easy CSV, you can go up here and go to All CSV Generators, and you'll see one that was auto-created, or you could have created one first if you wanted to. Um, you'll see when you go see that, you'll have a log. So you can see when this is executes, and you'll get a link to the file, just in case you need to go get that file. Um, and you'll say how many records were in it. Zapier will only make one record at a time. If you need multiple records, um, there's a way to do that. Uh, we just we tell you how to do that here in these docs. You're going to use the webhook to you know do multiple um, rows of data. That's a little tough in Zapier because each zap is triggered by a single um, you know trigger. So it's usually just one row of data anyway. Um, and the other cool thing is when you edit this, you're going to get a bunch of options. You're going to get email options. So you can just like when this is triggered by Zapier, you can email the file to somebody with like, you know, a subject line and body as an attachment or a link. Um, then for SFTP, like you'll just specify that that details here, those details here. So the Zap will trigger and then um, it'll execute your generator and I'll either upload via SFTP or email or do ne neither of these and just simply return the file URL in your Zap and you can use that in your Zap. So you have you have some free stuff here that won't cost any Zapier um, against your Zapier task count, right? So you don't need an email step or an SF SFTP step. You just get that from your easy CSV generator, um, but you can also continue. So let's, let's continue here. Um, we'll do a test you know, go to Easy CSV and it'll make a test um, uh, file for you. So you'll get back, you'll get this, and you can use this uh, key and, you know, if you want to make another step of your zap to uh, send that somewhere somehow. Um, it'll tell you if it was emailed or if it'll tell you it was SFTP'd, and if it didn't, it'll um, give you some errors. Um, so this file, you can just load it in a browser and you'll see the details, right? Email, phone number, and that's what the CSV file will be. Pretty easy. Um, Hope you enjoy it. You know, email support at EasyCSV if you need any help. Thanks.